Christian Medical College, Vellore. Beyond healthcare, being environmentally conscious. The Christian Medical College is a 114-year-old large medical institution which is not only giving healthcare, but it's also a teaching and research institution. At the moment, uh, the hospital caters to about 6,500 outpatients every day. In the main hospital campus, we have close to 2,000 odd beds and uh, nearly 15 to 16,000 blood samples are put through the system. CMC has always been committed to innovation and the adoption of new, appropriate, cost-effective, caring technology in both clinical and non-clinical areas. There are three small initiatives that uh, CMC has put forward to uh, conserve uh, the environment. The first is to uh, have a system that manages our sewage. As you know, the hospital being such a large operation, it is obvious that the amount of biomedical and non-biomedical wastes that accrue on a daily basis will be huge. And therefore, with the help of USAID, the institution has managed to put up a sewage treatment plant. Initially, a 2,500 kiloliters per day sewage treatment plant was put up in the main campus of CMC with fundings from USAID. In line with its policy of waste not, want not, CMC Vellore, as a step in the direction of reduce, recycle, reuse, was among the first to start its own sewage treatment plant by medical institutions in India. Treated water was used mostly for flushing and gardening purposes. This was in the year 2000. Now, additionally, a rooftop garden is being maintained with treated water. Regular drills and firefighting are also held with this water. This was followed by a 500 kiloliters a day sewage treatment plant in the year 2012. It consisted of two 250 kiloliters a day plants with commensurate ultrafiltration unit and reverse osmosis plant. Treated water from these plants could be used for cooling towers and laundry on the hospital campus. This has reduced the draw of municipal water supply by 20%. By augmenting ultrafiltration and reverse osmosis facilities, the management hopes in the coming days to reduce dependence on municipal water supply to 50% of the requirement. Vellore lies in one of the most critically water short areas of Tamil Nadu. It is hoped that other socially responsible institutions in the region will follow in the footsteps of CMC Vellore. The second thing that we have done is to look at solar energy as a form of uh, energy that we can use. Uh, with the state government making it uh, mandatory to have a certain percentage of our energy coming from natural resources. Power requirements of the vast campus of Christian Medical College and Hospital with its allied facilities are huge. It can be a tremendous load for India's grid power perennially battling demand and the consequent voltage fluctuation. CMC Vellore's step to harness solar power is therefore a move in a sensible direction. The energy from the sun is free and unlimited. Solar power usage does not emit any greenhouse gases or harmful waste. Solar power system requires very little maintenance and lasts for many years. Once the solar panel is installed, solar energy can be produced free of charge. The Electricity Act 2003 emphasizes the promotion of energy generation from renewable energy sources. The Government of India has taken several steps and enacted laws, policies and regulations to promote renewable sources of energy. It was decided to utilize the available rooftop area for powering CMC premises during the daytime with solar power. If the required load is more than solar energy generated, Remaining power can be drawn from grid power. Solar photovoltaic panel is easy to install and transportable. With a modular characteristic, it can be constructed for any capacity as required. A solar photovoltaic PV system is one which converts light directly into electricity. 
output increases with increasing sunshine. The average annual solar radiant exposure in Vellore is 5.23 kilowatt hour per meter square per day. 50 kilowatt solar PV plant was installed in OPD rooftop and commissioned on 7th August 2013. MNRE subsidy was availed for the system. MNRE Ministry of New and Renewable Energy Subsidy So far, more than 60,000 units have been generated from this plant per day. Subsequently, another 42 kilowatt solar panel was installed in S Ward rooftop and commissioned on 16th April 2014. Another solar application is solar thermal system for hot water supply to boiler to save the operational cost on the conventional fuels like furnace oil. About 1,500 litres per hour of water is fed to the existing boiler. The boiler is operational for nearly 15 hours daily. Return condensate water is delivered at 80 degrees centigrade. The above requirement can be completely catered to by a single Arun 100 dish. The dish was installed on the engineering services building rooftop. The system will provide 21,700 litres of hot water per day at 97 degrees centigrade to the boiler. The innovative dish design and the automatic two-axis tracking system ensure the highest thermal energy output per square metre of collector area. MNRE provides support by way of capital subsidy for this installation. The dish automatically tracks the sun from morning to evening. The solar radiation falling on the reflecting collector surface is concentrated at a single point at which the receiver is placed. The receiver coil at the focus of the dish transfers the heat of the sun to the heat transfer medium, water. The solar system will draw the water from the storage tank and feed the hot water to the boiler. Due to heat transfer at the dish receiver, the temperature of water will increase substantially on a clear sunny day. About 40 to 50 litres of furnace oil is expected to be saved per day by this system. Another innovation at CMC Vellore is its pneumatic tube system. By introducing the pneumatic system, we have vastly improved the service that is provided to the clinician and to the patient because the labs are now able to reduce the turnaround time considerably. I am very proud to say that this is the first system introduced in the, the country. A safe closed system of transport of blood samples is a desired logistic facility in hot and polluted environment in India. Therefore, CMC Vellore pioneered to bring to India the European pneumatic tube system. Even today, CMC Vellore is the only hospital complex in India with this facility. The pneumatic tube system in CMC is used for the transportation of blood samples and samples for testing micro vectors and pathology matters from OPDs, ICUs and wards to the respective labs in Asha building. The pneumatic system in CMC is one of the most complex and largest installations anywhere as claimed by the German engineers. The total length of tubing used is 7.3 kilometers and 76 diverters are used to guide the canisters to the destination. The system was upgraded with RFID facility in 2011 and now all the canisters are traceable from its starting point till the destination. The history of each movement is recorded completely in a database which can be retrieved anytime. Pneumatic system works in a fail-safe manner. The user loads the blood samples in the canister and locks it properly. The canister is loaded in the station's sending funnel. The blower starts suction and the canister moves through the tubing. The speed of canister movement is 6 to 8 meters per second. During suction phase, the diverters are set such that a single closed path is formed to reach the nearest diverter of the destination station in the network. The blower stops now and the diverters are set towards the destination station. Now the blower gives pressure and the canister reaches the station where it is received in a basket or guide rail. Barcode ID system is used to relate patients to samples. 
the entire transaction history is stored in the database. In case of any error, or if the canister doesn't reach the destination in the designated time, then the system gives alarm and is indicated in the graphics also. Pneumatic transport system is part of CMS's search for cost-effective and environment-friendly solutions to all problems. CMC Velour is constantly striving to innovate to enhance its considerable prestige as a medical institution non pareil by taking its corporate social responsibility values to a new summit. Why are we doing all this, uh, a healthcare institution? Uh, it is really not our core area, but we feel that with the amount of work that we do, it is also important for us to set standards in being environmentally conscious. Being conscious that we are using water, we are using power, and all these are uh, difficult uh, sources of energy. And therefore, it is also our duty to conserve as much of energy as possible. It will be our effort in the future to continue to harness more solar energy and to use whatever technology is available in issues like sewage disposal, in greening the campus, uh, in uh, uh, using solar energy to the maximum level possible so that we continue to be cost effective and also set uh, a new standard for being an environmentally friendly hospital. Thank you.